When you are building a website and you have some common subviews shared across your pages, something like this sidebar or something like this sidebar, or perhaps even your footer, then you would like to share data with it across all of your pages. And definitely are not going to go to each controller and share it with it. Laravel really is great when it comes to this. So in Laravel, there's something called view composers if you to write composer here you can find it as, as the first result so with the view composers if you have data that you want to be bound to a view each time that view is rendered a view composers can help you organize that logic so simply you can create a view service provider which does not exist by default you can create it and then inside the boot method of this service provider you have multiple ways to simply inject certain pieces of data into a view or multiple views you can have it as a closure based like this one with anonymous function or you can have it as a dedicated class if you think you have multiple lines inside it and one thing that you should just be notified about which is the creator you can use a view creators or a view composers view creators are very similar to view composers however they are to be executed immediately after the view is instantiated instead of waiting until the view is about to render so in simple words view creators to be executed before view composers in some certain situations you need that but in our case i would like to just go ahead and use view composers so the first step is to create a service provider dedicated only for those view composers i will head back to my artisan and i will just generate a new service provider called view service provider. Simply this one has been created, but just remember that by default, any newly created service providers has to be simply called manually in order for Laravel to figure them out. So you just have to go to your app and then you just have to come here and call them like any other service provider. If you to forget this step, simply your service provider won't work. And now we can just go ahead and figure out how we can write our view composers. The documentation is mentioning simply two ways. You can do it class-based and you can do it component-based. I would like to go ahead and do it with this base. So in order to do it, we need to have a view or multiple views passed in array and simply a view composer class. So to do the view composer class, I'm going to do it manually in a second. But first of all, I would like to just create my sub view. So here inside the recipe show, I know that here we have the side tag so i'm going to grab this whole tag and simply i'm going to refactor it so it becomes sub view so inside partials i would like to name it sidebar and here it has been created so in my case this is my view which i'm targeting i'm going to copy the name of it and then i'm going to paste it here this is the first step the second step is simply to create a view composer so i'm going to name this one side bar composer and i'm going to just go ahead and create it as a class now when it comes to where to create it usually laravel is recommending us to simply create it inside something called app view then composers so i'm gonna go ahead and do the same exact thing i'm going to provide this one as namespace and simply we can just go ahead and create this one so as you can see it has been created here now inside this one we should have only one function which is compose this one is going to accept the view itself as illuminate view and this is our view file. Now, as usual, anytime you use the view, you can just pass data to it by using the with function. So you can pass here any variable name and then you can just give it some value, right? So let me just give it maybe name. So if name is going to be more, let's say, you can have access to this variable under this name within your view. Or as usual, you can just pass an array with the key and value as well. So you can just go ahead and pass it like this. And the last way to do it as usual using compact. In my case, I would like to stick with this way for now. So we can take it in a spin. So let's just copy this one and hit back to our view and test that inside that we have access to this variable. So I'm going to have h1 saying hello and then this variable name. We should have access to it. So let me get back to my project and simply refresh. So I did not import some class. Let me get back to my code. Mm, here, I guess I did everything correctly. So maybe here. Okay, so I did not import this one. Let me just go ahead and import it from facade, which is this one. Now it should work just fine. And indeed we have hello and the name. So this means that the binding between our view composer and our sub view, which is this sidebar, is working just fine. The next step is simply just to pass proper data to our sidebar composer. So I would like to start by sending the categories. I will define a new variable called categories and I will you just go ahead to the categories and with the count of the recipes relationship, I'm just going to order by it as well. So order by recipes and then I'm just going to take five of them and by the way we should order like descending and then i should take just five five categories and then this is it with our query now i just have to pass this variable to my view which means i have access to this variable within 
my view so i will head back to my view and here where we have categories i'm just going to grab only one of them as an example and i'm going to just go ahead and go with the four else here four else and with empty and i'm going to use the component that we have and now here i'm going to just go ahead and loop through all categories as a category and now we can simply go ahead and display the category title here and at the same time the category recipes count let's get hit back and refresh maybe okay recipes in order closure okay my bad i did not simply write recipes count i should just write here recipes underscore count so now let's try it and i forgot to delete the variable name which is true i did not delete it okay now we are good to go so as you can see those are right now coming from the database and they are dynamic now the second really fun part is how we can simply retrieve related recipes within our view composer however we don't have access to this recipe because this is inside the view or as well inside the recipe controller so this is actually pretty much fun and exciting let me just do it immediately i will head back to my view composer and i will just simply care about the recipe right now so just so you know if we to go to our route we have this variable called recipe as part of our route. Now what's cool about Laravel, we can simply have access to this recipe. Why? Because we can simply have access to the global request and we can take from it anything we wish. So we can simply take the recipe out of this route and we can display it. So let me just prove this to you guys. I'm going to assign it to a value and I'm going to then dump sidebar composer is here. And here's our variable and now let's give it a try, which means I have access to it even though I'm right now inside my sidebar composer and you know the drill guys which means I can simply go ahead and retrieve all the related recipes because I have access to it so I will just write a new variable called related recipes and then I'm going to go to the recipe model so now we can do all sorts of magic that we need so I will just go ahead and do first of all the ID shouldn't be the same ID with the recipe I have and I should simply let me get them for now okay and I can just simply go ahead and just retrieve maybe all recipes who are sharing the same category ID so category ID equal to my current recipe as category ID and as well I can simply avoid having like featured recipes so the one where's where's the column featured recipe is null and i can order them as well by the view count and now with this i'm retrieving related recipes so i can just go ahead and send it to my view so we can simply test it out and loop through it so as a as a start i would like to just die and dump right here so i can just make sure that i have access to it so i'll then dump here and let me refresh so indeed we have 11 11 items didn't i take like four only let me get back just to double check i didn't take four okay let me just take kind of four because 11 is too much and then let me refresh okay so now as you can see we have a collection inside it we have four items each item is a recipe module which means as easy as you can think about it we can just loop through them so i would like to take this one as an example as usual and i'm going to delete those two and here we will have four else and again I'm going to copy the empty in a second. This is an example. I'm going to copy this one from here and we can just simply go ahead and loop through all those items. So related recipes as recipe. And then we can just have here again, a random image. And at the same time, here's the title of the recipe. So I would like to just go ahead and display it. And as an alternative attribute, I would like to use the same thing. So with this, actually we are almost done everything is working with it right now we are retrieving those four recipes based on the current recipe that we are viewing right now so this side bar is actually totally done however i would like to just go ahead and do the same exact thing for the header this header kind of header tag but this is a sidebar of uis so i would like to do the same thing with this one and at the same time for the footer and there is where i will see you guys next